Oh my gosh, look at these. Oh, they're gorgeous. And they're all tucked up underneath the trees. I'm looking for the shade and the dampness. Oh, that's a beautiful one. One of the easiest ways to recognize them too is just to turn them over and the gills run all the way down the stem. I like to just cut them off so then you don't get any of the dirt. Um, if you pull them up, you get all this dirt and that will end up in your bag and then that will get on all the rest of them. And then when you're home, you're trying to clean them, it takes you twice as long. Look at how beautiful they are. I mean, this time of year, I won't buy any mushrooms. Because why would you buy them if they're just here? They're really easy to pick and they're usually easily accessible. Although a lot of people are picking them now, so I'm having to go deeper into the woods <laughs> to find my spots. So when they're this big, I usually, uh, I usually chop them up actually and uh, cook them all down in, the, in, the, in butter and uh, and some maybe some onions or mostly just a lot of butter unsalted butter and then freeze them in like ice cube trays or even in muffin tins and then pop them out and put them in a ziploc bag and then they'll they'll be fine in the freezer like all winter mm -hmm. 